Hello and welcome to the big picture. Indian elections despite its contentious nature has by and large respected candidates and leaders during the campaign. Though there are always vicious attacks against each other and their politics, it has mostly remained verbal. However, in the ongoing elections, the attacks have not only been vicious with not just personal attacks, but also threats and worse physical attacks. The number of attacks against Amadmi party leader Arvind Kejriwal and his colleagues like Shazia Ilmi among others, and now the dastardly attack on Somnath Bharti in Varnasi seem to have crossed all limits of decency. The threats by some leaders against the election commission and also against voters who are not inclined towards them is also a matter of serious concern. These physical attacks and threats are not a good sign for democracy. Why has electioneering and campaigning descended to such low levels? And surprisingly, why are these physical attacks especially confined to members of only one party? Why are these political leaders and parties and their cadre resorting to such obviously undemocratic methods? We will discuss all these today with pra Prakash Javdekar, spokesperson of the BJP, Tapan Kumar Sen, CPIM MP in the Raj Sabha, Saurabh Bardwaj, spokesperson of the Amadmi Party, and Paranjoy Goha Takuta, senior journalist. Welcome to all of you. Mr. Javdekar, do you see this as a problem that you know that the physical Simple. attacks are happening? See, we have always seen this kind of, I mean, except in maybe in states like uh, West Bengal where Tapan come from, there have been uh, you know, signs of physical, physical violence there. But across the country, we are seeing, and especially on certain members of certain party, why is this happening? Basically, I don't agree with your proposition at all. I am working in elections since 1971. Yes. And violence in election used to be much more. It should be very peaceful. I, I have zero tolerance for any kind of violence, verbal or physical. But issue is, this time I think the whole election process is going very sound enough and on a good track. Only with desperation and exasperation, Congress and Amadmi Party are attacking Modi personally, but we are taking these abuses as flower because that recoils on those who hurl at us. As far as Amadmi Party <coughs> attacks, they, I don't think there are many attacks. Actually, many people believe that their own people, disgruntled or otherwise, uh, they attack their leader. Attack means what? They slap or they throw ink or they throw tomato, egg or something like that. This is typical up protest. So their own followers, their are, own followers are doing it. And, and then what happens? They blame BJP immediately. And next day, it is revealed that it is the up man only. Every time it has happened. And third day, Kejriwal goes and offers him flowers. So this is the pattern. So it's a... Calibrated uh, it's a, it's a attacks, a, some people. Calibrated attacks. Saurabh, Saurabh Bardwaj, calibrated attacks. You people are protesting too much. Your own right. people are indulging in this. Uh, I think uh, when uh, people like Prakash Javadekar come to studio, uh, they should have you know some sense of speaking truth. It's not always good to keep manipulating the facts while even sitting in the studio. It is a open fact that it is the BJP workers who have been attacking our leaders wherever they are able to do so. And their only strategy <coughs> is that they know that Aam Admi Party's strength is non-violence and they just want to incite us so tell that me, we also come in the same Tell me one example. BJP. Why it's speak a basic in here? trait of a BJP worker that they are so aggressive, really? they are so communal, they just want to come on to the violence. He is asking, Prakash Javdekar is asking you to give one instance of what you are talking about? Just yesterday, yesterday Somnath Bharti was attacked while he was giving an interview to CNN and IBN. It is, on the, it is on the camera. Anybody can go and investigate that they are all BJP workers who have attacked him. Absolutely not. Uh, Paranjay? You know, it's very difficult to uh, you know, <laughs> make a, you know, they take a position on the you know. veracity or otherwise of the allegations. I'm not surprised that those who are opposed to the Ahmadmi party will say they have deliberately engineered it, they have masterminded it. But it also, 
indicates that they are taking the Aam Aadmi Party seriously. I do believe that. And look, how many times can you engineer these attacks? You know, and, and we've seen a certain trend happening in different parts. You know, people throwing ink, slapping the Aam Aadmi Party. So, so I, what, I find what it a happened, difficult that what they should happened, be what engineering in, all these things just to gain sympathy. What happened in Banara yesterday was a pretty serious attack. And then that's right. And this time round, you saw it in front of the, the, the television cameras. You see, what has happened, I believe, and I agree with uh, <coughs> Mr. Prakash Javdekar on one point. You know, elections used to be far more violent in the past. The 60s, the 70s, and even the 80s. Yes. But I think since then, if you look at the last five or six general elections, 96, 98, 2004, 2009, the looks of elections, I think we reached a stage where this old story about rigging, booth capturing, is, yes. you know, uh, this intimidation, preventing people from voting, all that has come down considerably. Right. What we unfortunately see is that after a situation where everything was becoming more and more peaceful, elections were not only peaceful, they were free and fair, we are again perhaps seeing a deterioration exactly. in the overall political climate because the stakes are so high. The stakes are so high for every political party and the desperation on the part of the political party gets, uh, uh, gets reflected in these acts of violence. Tapan, do you agree with that? That there is a certain amount of desperation which is creating this kind of situation? Of course, in West Bengal, no. West Bengal has been a very violent Overall, state all along uh, when it comes that, to elections. Uh, one thing, uh, let me tell you, this is the Banarasi incident. Yes. No doubt is very much condemnable. But we have been facing since long. Last uh, quite couple of uh, months after the election was declared, even in before, West before that. In West Bengal. Every day we are losing, uh, our comrades are losing life, one or two, every day almost. Uh, house are burnt, it is going on. And we are working in the election in that process. And I am telling you, in not only physical violence, but oral violence also, etc, etc. It is now being very, very popularly discussed in the channel. One basic point is that the, this, what for this election is being fought. A government will come and uh, another government will come or the same government may come back. What are the issues before the That's people? That's why he's saying you know, I, I want to ask. Instead of the basic right? issues being raised. <coughs> You see the whole electoral debate, why, how price rise is to be addressed, what is the policy of the respective parties, no, what I, is the, I, what I, what I is the farm that the, uh, Tapan uh, a question. That the speculative no, activities in let the me. Uh, food grains market, why it should not be there. Instead of all these issues being uh, deliberated in the electoral debate or electoral battle or electoral campaign, the, as if the whole uh, thing is being picturized is between the two personality. It has been a when, when the whole electoral and it is obvious because both the personalities are working for the same project of so far as the economic policy and its political <coughs> reflection is concerned. So in that kind of a project, these non issues no, no, has to come before what are non issues ah, so and have we do have that we, this kind of violence both oral and physical is going on have you know, you know, ever I, I want to ask mr tapan this is the desperation i want to ask mr tapan sen a question you know Three years ago, your party lost power in West Bengal after 34 years of yeah. yeah. But you still got about 40% of the vote? Yes. Okay. So, if there was so much violence and so much, you know, uh, intimidation, how is it that 40% of the electorate still voted for the left? Second point. No, your, uh, one, minute, one minute, one minute, sir. One minute. 2011, we have not complained for any violence. I mean, thereafter. All right. After the new government has taken I, over. I am saying. Thereafter, but, panchayat poll, municipal poll. One after another, but you see, but the violence Joy, is picking Joy, up. No, but but, but there are critics are no, no, saying no, that the the Trinomul Congress has learned all these how to do this so-called scientific rigging any, and intimidation. Anybody, the, anybody the may say any damn thing, okay. but you also know you yourself are telling since eighties. This kind of violence had cooled down and a, a normal free and fair election. No, no, the election Tappan commission has become. You yourself have committed. Tappan, we will, we will, we will. So uh, all those stories, wh whatever has happened, 34 years, he, she is doing the same thing. Uh, no, Tappan, we are demagogy, nothing more than. No, that. Tappan, we are, we are going fact. away from the topic, uh, Mr. Jaudekar. Have we, have we ever seen in the past a leader of the ma our, our major political party, at least in terms of the kind of play he has been getting, somebody going and slapping them? You know, somebody going and attacking them physically, 
why is why is this in, in every case as saurabh says and you say that you know it is it is it's all manipulated and stage managed but we have seen this on like yesterday's thing your own party <coughs> worker i'm going i know isn't this go, taking things too far ne girish as our party is not getting any publicity we should not uh, start debating flimsy issues i mean you to call give it them publicity issue? one because what happened yesterday was a one minute, issue one minute <laughs> because what tapan says is a, a violent and him. is a serious issue we if then what has has uh, happened in assam <coughs> on polling booth there is open trade threat they open uh, the fire and 13 people died or in chatisgarh mm, maoist today, attack no, no, and to, in, 11, in kashmir, 11 people in kashmir, people people kashmir died. today also there have been so these violence. are the real worry some violent incidences which we should be discussing right. as a demo, lover of democracy see the man who slapped arvind kejriwal third day arvind kejriwal goes to him he was up party it was nothing to do with bjp one minute the man who threw ink in vp house had joined the aam aadmi party after there after one minute so instances after instances <coughs> so even yesterday's you will find if they were their own party people so you you don't think these are a fl- flimsy that is what i'm saying that is on camera banaras incident banaras only it has happened on camera there are on camera there are only two they are on camera what is on camera they are the aam aadmi party people saurabh saurabh have that many people there saurabh you know there seems to be a se- I think, I serious think, um, serious crisis of credibility uh, for you people that even when you are uh, attacked you are not it is yeah. not believed that you know you are being attacked it's all it, it it's felt that you know it's it's all a stage managed thing <laughs> but why do you not look uh, into that the thing is like aspect uh, was serious uh, the election commission official you know, slapped the exact minister sir ultimately he was arrested so up can you hear me that happened on I camera leaders yes so up can you yeah, hear me i can hear you Yeah I think the leaders of BJP somebody like Mr Prakash Javadekar when they are sitting in a studio at least they should you know try to uh, you know try to give a good message to their workers but the way they are handling such sensitive issues shows that you know that's a part of their strategy they are so desperate for power no. that they are not ready to you know uh, think about anybody else we are fighting they congress not our people are so frustrated we are fighting congress, congress not they you are the natural alternative are for you that are you are no where it is the congress like party, party, party we are fighting against fighting political fray and that's really sad occasion what is happening is you know they are reaping so much of you know uh, so much of poison among the people <laughs> that it will be we who will suffer in the long run they may or may not get power but they are not understanding the long lasting effects of such things on our beautiful democracy they uh, parajoy i think we have to parajoy. discuss on more serious thing no, no, of this no, virus no, of terrorist prakash javdekar prakash javdekar statement just now saying that we are fighting congress not you what does it indicate you know they don't want to even recognize that aap is aap is especially in banaras All especially India, there was no, that I mean, you don't the, want the, the bjp said the same thing in delhi until they found that though they had the maximum number of seats in the assembly they still couldn't form the government uh, so that that's the reality of of the situation what how aam aadmi party performs time will tell i don't know but the point it's is the, like no, no, the, the performance the, is not the, an issue the here. point is the point is the bjp why is the bjp so vehemently attacking the aam aadmi party no we are not we, at times it seems the bjp is attacking the aam aadmi party we are not talking also Congress. you don't want to talk about we that we also don't want to talk about you don't it. want to talk about we that we see every day see our fight is with congress congress is a national party and congress is all over the country and we are fighting tamil nadu where is aap aam aadmi party mr javdekar besides delhi they did it's work it's a strategy on your part delhi. not to talk about that <laughs> mr javdekar <laughs> the congress is getting weak everywhere you know, but in still, most most you, parts of the country let with me let me remind you he will say that don't fight, is don't, so don't underestimate party. congress Congress even during when Janata Party. Are, it's very interesting. But that it's is what I'm telling. It's very interesting that, that you are saying don't underestimate Congress. If we have huh? to, we have to real understand the real politics. Let us understand in '77 when Congress did not get any seat in the North India, still they had 30 percent <coughs> votes. No, no, let me tell you. No, it's very so interesting I, that you are you are you are you know arguing so in favour of Congress. So we are fighting Congress. Mr. Tapan, Tapan Singh, don't you think that it is a very interesting it's argument? It's a fact. I'm telling you, 
you know what? I think that the what, issue uh, is much more serious thing. than what, what this one one second, is talking about. Saurab, 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 wait. For the please. first time. Saurab, yeah. No. Very quickly. What I'm, what I'm saying is, for the first time in your studio, Prakash Javadekar is saying truth. They are fighting Congress and we are fighting corruption and we are fighting this political system. Okay. Actually, uh, let me tell you, the, again, uh, why, why the... Uh, when uh, your attention is not being drawn to much more basic facts. No, basic no, we are facts. talking the whole <laughs> thing, the whole electoral exercise, what is going on, and the manner it is be sought to be, 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 it is being sought to be projected between the fight between the two major forces, as Prakash rightly told. But the fact remains that they are working for the same project. <laughs> that, 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 what, what same policies. For? That's okay. And, no, no, but and, one, and, let us and, come. Let and, us. and at the same time, I think you must seriously take note of, at least so far I could gather people's pulse, that people are frantically in search of an alternative other than these two. That, but that we, we, unfortunately, non-availability of this is goes here. Their opinion. That is that's that is the reality. No, no. Let us Indian come back. Let us come back to political the issue. Paranjal, let's come, and come back. Why, and, let's and come and back the, to the issue. Violence and other things no, no, why? are arising out of that. Out of that. After that, no, 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 Paranjal, no, no, Paranjal, <coughs> another another imp interesting, important. Now you know, at, he was talking of, uh, about attacks on uh, uh, the election commission Correct. officials and things like that. Now, how do you look <coughs> at the how their prime ministerial candidate is directly? threatening the election commission that if you are not going to perform properly, I am going to put up CCTV cameras in, in certain places and we are <coughs> going to take action. How do you, how do you, I mean, how do you justify this kind of thing, Mr. Javadekar? I mean, that you, are, you know that he is directly, is directly challenging, no. threatening the election commission no, never. that, you know, if you don't, if you don't, you know, I, I am going to put up my, how do you put up your own CCTV cameras? No, one minute. He has, nobody has said this. He has said yes. that. One minute. He has, he has said that yes, I will, I will definitely ask accountability from the rulers who have destroyed the country's economy for no, last years. He was talking to the election years. commission. Ten he was, years. No, he was directly, not the election commission. directly no. in, in telling the election commission. No, that no, you should absolutely not. By, by Prakash, by how how do you justify this statement that if you don't vote, you better go to Pakistan? Pakistan. No, the, nobody has I, I'm nobody, you. nobody. We condemned. <laughs> we we just condemned. You, you, you condemned. Right. I am telling you why Before I am concerned because in my state every day I am facing that. But no, I am already I'm facing that. We have already ah. condemned it, and he is out in of my campaign. State, I am everybody. The man is out of campaign. He is out of campaign, but another man is back in the campaign. No, after having made say, very, very no, <laughs> but election commission decision of you have to at least. Adhere to the decision taken by the neutral umpire that is the election commission. Okay, you have no problem with the election commission? We never then have. Then why is it that your leader is threatening the election commission? <laughs> no, we are not. See, I, th I, think, I think the election Even commission... Even after Amit Shah is allowed and Ajam Khan is banned. <laughs> banned. <laughs> Even I, I, then. I'll tell you, I think the election commission is doing something right. Because Ms. Jalalita Are they doing a, everything right? Or, or most things right? right. They could do, you can argue they could do better. <coughs> but certainly Ms. Jalalita is complaining about how the election commission is calculating expenses. Ms. Mamta Banerjee initially said, I'm not going to transfer those officers, but had to finally fall in line. So something must be right in terms of what the election commission is doing. Two points. See, Girish, let's accept that things had been improving. But again, unfortunately, things do not seem to be that good whether it be physical violence or the point that has just been made the violence in the language that the language there. you know that violence is something that needs to be condemned and i think in that respect you know we haven't improved in certain respects things have worsened whether it be minority community whether it be personal attacks i think this election there's been i mean some things that have been said which are not only to be condemnable i think it shows how the, the there's been a lowering of the standard of discourse in the Would politics. you agree with that, Mr. Jaudekar? Absolutely. And Every day, yes. the Congress is indulging. It's only the Congress which is indulging in one it. One minute. Abuses against <laughs> Narendra Modi. They said <laughs> important. They said murderer. They said boti boti karenge. They said uh, today magnum olia. Then they said so many other things. Narendra Arun Modi is saying badla lenge. No, badla nahi. Acha bataya unhone. Kya? Ek ki Iska badla jawa, jawa dekhte hai, log tantra se log dete hai. So that's a correct so thing. So that's a correct thing. Saurabh, 
Saurabh, that you know, you know the language, the, the kind of yes. violence which is be, which has been seen in the language, and uh, Prakash Jawdekar says it's, it's Look, Congress uh, party I don't think, which you is know, doing. You he doesn't want to even Modi discuss your, your party. For the kind of language in this election, yes, because uh, Narendra Modi has always started his whole career with this language. You know, his only USP is that you know he spoke such harsh words against one particular community and that is the he reason he is a prime minister's candidate today so you know he cannot get away from that usp and he has to keep reassuring one of his sections of voters that you know i am still that communal communal as i was in 2002 so it's it's the basic requirement for his election campaign he has to adhere to it Mr. Tell Mr. Me, so what, what, what Mr. Mao Praveen Tawadi has said. If the Mao is speaking in, in, on the platform of AAP, the issue Ma, is, Mr. he Mr. has Javdekar. not said a single <laughs> word. But Maut Ka Saudagar, he doesn't condemn. Important, he doesn't condemn. All, he doesn't condemn Salman <laughs> Khurshid because they are hand in glove. Jadu, haath se chalta hai. No, no, that's okay. Yes, that's right. But you know, the, what has no, happened no, in the last yeah. one or two weeks. The statement of importance, etc, etc. They are rubbish. rubbish. They are condemnable. Mm -hmm. Whoever says it. Right. Then nobody has got a right. As it, what about what he wants what, to be called him to be? Uh, what gentleman. about what Mr. Praveen Togadi has been saying? We everybody condemned. Has no, Mr. Modi condemned? Yes, he immediately tweeted. But mind you, how? What do the people say? But this was the thing, same man who are part of the same. But why you are not? No, no. We to be fair, I condemn. Anjay Thakurda, you have not condemned Mautka Saudagar. You have not condemned important. You have not condemned murderer. You no, have no. not condemned Boti Boti Karenge. You have not condemned today's Anand Sharma's uh, uh, saying that he is Magnum Olia and whatever he is saying. Sir, all of See, these they are choicest abuses that are heard at every day. Oh, sir, all of these are condemned. Be, this is not that is very bad. It is not, it is not just a question You can't of be partial no, no, in personal abuses. In but condemnation, you should be at least impartial. I, I condemn all of these. Ah, but that's sir, all. I, I completely Mr. agree with that. That's why I listed, not be used. I listed only those things what no, no, you are condemning. I fully condemning. agree with you. The ah. language that should be used yes. should be dignified. You should discuss issues. You can discuss yes. ideology. What Mr. Sen said. Why are you not discussing price rise? Why, why, why are you not are discussing, discussing every the day. biggest Our issue? advertisements are that. Your advertisements are that, but, but the whole campaign seems to have completely no, turned into an individualistic we, thing. No, our campaign is on jobs, jobs and jobs. We are promising future. Why youths are with us? Because <laughs> we are guaranteeing Just them uh, job. jobs through creation of job opportunities and skilling of youth. Mr. So it's a Tappan Sen, in the, every either day either either, either you are not you are not, you are not been hearing the campaign or you know you have a problem. I am uh, telling you that they are working what, for the same project, is, yes. same project, World Bank IMF structure project. So, the, so, so both are working. So they and are one working. Please let me complete. And one is complaining against other that you are suffering from a policy paralysis that is not pursuing the same policy more as aggressively which is basically loot and plunder on the national economy and on the people. And why don't you discuss the kind of violence that is being inciting in the whole process by money, money power? The p violence of money power. Violence Pardon? of money power. That is money it is being used. <coughs> Girish. Money is being used very liberally there, there to are, purchase the votes. There are two unique aspects of these elections. One is the support given by the corporate sector to Mr. Narendra Modi. And the fact that Mr. Narendra Modi seems to be spending or his party seems to be spending more on publicity than even the party, the Congress party, which has been power for the last 10 years. To me, that's truly amazing and unique. I don't know Mr. whether Jaudi the Congress... Is, and is, there is, is no is, gap on these expenditures. Very simple. There is another, they, there is another Congress, contradiction in the whole system. Congress there is no gap on that expenditure. Congress uh, did campaign of their party before declaration of election Achha, you are doing by now. spending more than 2000 crore rupees through advertisements of various kinds more than that what we are doing is a simple very hmm. shrewd planning what we are doing only those editions where elections are to be held immediately <laughs> they are closed only those edi editions so if we are giving one newspaper times of india we don't give throughout the india it is in those sections where there are elections immediately. So we are planning a very effective campaign. Now we are popular. 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 So that is the success of our good 
it's Mr. a success Mr. of Mr. Javtekar, no, no individual I in India has Mr. ever been Walker. promoted in the same way Mr. Modi has. Every newspaper, every hoarding, you know, I mean, I cannot think of ever in the history of the past. Not Mrs. Indira it's Gandhi, not Atal Bihari Vajpayee, not Mr. Advani. No. Okay. See, Aam Aadmi Party charges, they don't charge at least Rajya Sabha TV that you are also paid for. <laughs> but no, they are charging all media houses. Right. Saurabh purchase. Saurabh, you know, atrocious. Saurang, like, no, Saurabh we coming back. We have charged all of them. We have yes, said you have that there is a big Saur section of media which is biased for Modi and we we can prove it. Everybody knows it. Prove it. No, no, it's not it. No, no, Saurabh, prove it. Modi. So we changed the whole format of Ghoshna Pad for it, Modi. Prove Come it. on, it was such a fixed interview Modi is going into. Saurabh, that is not the question now. That today we are I'll not discussing about the interview. The no, no, we had to, we, we had are discussing. Have you seen Ghoshna Pad of ABP channel before? Saurabh, it's a different format. Saurabh, we are discussing one of the things which is being said. We are discussing about violence and threats which are happening in these elections. You know, one of the things which <coughs> is said is that, as Javdekar earlier also mentioned, see. Why, you know, the, the, the critics of AAP are saying there have been so many physical attacks. It, there was physical attack against Somnath Bhartiya yesterday. Everybody saw it on television. But why do you people not file FIRs against the people who have indulged in it? That is giving the suspicion, that is giving suspicion that, you know, this may be actually stage managed. What is the waste of BGP? One thing is, आज वो गंगा में जाकर उसका पाप पाप धोने के लिए बैठा आज वो गंगा के किनारे कल का जो पाप किया वो धोने के लिए गंगा के किनारे बैठे आज that that is your interpretation yes sir अब look this is this is our way of handling things we believe that these people are just acting as tools for party like BJP they are poor people and they are being paid heavily by these parties just to do and show manage such things by putting such people under jail or in the prison will serve no purpose. The real purpose is to expose political parties like BJP which are doing all this. And such a vulgar waste of money which BJP is indulging in, can they justify how they got so much of money? Why is corporate sector so interested that Modi becomes a prime minister? No, Everybody <laughs> knows you know, that Modi will we pay them back in return. terms of favours. That's not... We, okay. See, we, you have to answer why Arab countries are financing you. You have to answer why the Ford Foundation is uh, giving you. You have to answer not come only on. this. I invite all you to come why to you are, After all, in gas price issue, why Javdekar. you are lobbying for higher high will, rate imports? Well, who's Mr. Dalal? Mr. Uh, Mr. Who's lobbying you are doing? Mr. Javdekar, Mr. Are Javdekar I think, I think all these all correct. these points will have a separate discussion yes. on that, which was not uh, that, pricing, very very quickly. Last trouble. words to both of so, you. How serious, you know, how do we how do we stop this kind of physical attacks and these kind of threats which are happening? And how serious are they if they Maoist. are not stopped? You see, this, it is only, you, you have to condemn it and you have to make, go to the people to make them say that okay. this is not wrong. And I believe that people finally do not reward this kind of, this kind uh, of okay. that that's the that's, total violence. that's yes. finally they will not reward that's the point i agree with uh, with mr said that at the end of the day if a political party or its candidates thinks that it's going to get votes by using this kind of language or by physically violent i think they are going to be mistaken i, I also think. believe that the election commission needs to be even more proactive because things are getting worse so in the past the way things were things need to be in my opinion the election commission also needs to put down and, 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 and take stern action okay. against all, all people who use either physical violence or verbal violence. Okay, I think and all that, monetary yes. violence. I think, I think that also you must add. I, I yes. think the monetary that, violence. I think, on that, not, I think <laughs> on that note we need to end. We yes. completely run out of time. Yes, there, there is a need for stricter action against this thing. And as Paranjoy and Tapan Sain say that, that people will not been, you know, reward those people who indulge in these kind of things. Hopefully, that will happen. We'll wait and see how, how it will all turn out. Thanks to all my guests, Mr. Prakash Javdekar, Tapan Sen, Paranjoy Gwar Takuta and Saurabh Bharadwaj. Please keep watching. We'll come back with another issue on Big Picture, same time tomorrow.